In this lesson, I'm going to go over ordering real numbers on the real number line. So I'm going to give you a list of real numbers, and I'm going to walk you through a few steps that you can use to place real numbers on the real number line. Alright, so let's take 5 and 11 thirteenths, the square root of 30, negative 84 over 25, negative 8.283 with 83 repeating, and pi squared. So your first step is to represent each number with the same number of decimal places. So I'm going to rewrite each of these, and I'm going to pick three decimal places because I have this here that's written to three decimal places. To save time, what I just did is I took each of these numbers, I put them into my calculator, and I gave the approximate value to three decimal places. As you can see, I have the uh, squiggly equal sign here. This means that it's approximately those to indicate that it's not the exact value. So it's approximately equal to each of these. All right, so let's look at step two. Step two is order the real numbers from least to greatest. So I need to start with my negative. So I see here that I have a negative eight and that looks like it's my smallest negative, so that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to write down what the original number was, not what my, my approximate answer is, so that I can actually connect this to what I, the numbers that I was given. My next one I have is a negative 3, so a negative 3.360. And I'm going to continue to look at, at my decimals, so I don't have any more negatives. So my next one is actually going to be the square root of 30, which is 5.477, because this one is greater, because in my tens place, my 8 is greater than my 4. So that gives me my next 2 in order. And that only leaves me with the last one, which is pi squared. Now we can move on to step 3. Our last step is to draw the number line and locate each number approximately on the number line. So let me draw my number line. I see that my lowest number, the decimal, was a negative 8, and my highest number was 9.8. So I'm going to do from negative 10 to a positive 10. Now that I have my number line that's drawn without a ruler, so make sure you're using a ruler, um, I'm going to place each of the numbers on the number line. I'm going to use the decimals that I found to help me place them accurately on my number line. So my first one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my lowest number, and I'm going to place that at a negative 8.284. Oh, sorry, negative 8.284. So that means that I'm going to be to the left of my negative 8, and it's going to be pretty close to 8 because it's 0.2. Sorry, I'm not very accurate here with my stylus. So this is negative 8.2. 8, 3 with the 8, 3 repeating. The next one is my negative 84 25ths. And if I go up here to my decimal, it's a negative 3.360. So that's going to be to my left of my negative 3, right about there. So I'm going to label that negative 84 over 25. My next one is going to be my square root of 30, which is 5.477, which is going to be to the right of my 5, because it's larger than 5, right about there. So that's my square root of 30. And my next one is going to be very close. It's a 5.846. So it's going to be closer to 6. And that is 5 and 11 thirteenths. If you need to be clear, you might have to draw an arrow pointing to which spot it is on the number line. And then finally, we have the square, uh, pi squared, which is 9.870. So that's going to be real close to my 10, to the right of my 10. And I'm going to label that as pi squared. And that's how we are going to order our real numbers on a number line.